Hello everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Today we have a very nice challenge on the board. The question is, solve 2 to the power of x minus x to the power of 2 equal to 615, where x and y are integers. I'll be solving this challenge collaborating with uh, Dr. PK, as you all know, one of the best math tutor online so far. So Dr. PK will be uh, using a similar approach to what I want to use here. Okay, but we arrive at the same answer. Okay, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can access Dr. PK Shannon. Okay, he has a very nice solution to some of the Olympiad Mass Challenge. Okay, so you can access his Mass Shannon and uh, also do it to subscribe too. You will enjoy having him as one of your online Mass Tutor. Okay, so Without much waste of time, let's go to today's challenge. But before we go to today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, this is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jake's Anemo. And if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified. Because at Online Mass TV, we drop amazing videos all the time on how to solve rhetorical math challenges. With that being said, let's go straight to the board and see what this has for us today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take here is to take our solution to this challenge. Mind you, it's not a problem, but it's a challenge. Okay, we put down the question, which is 2 to the power of y minus x squared equal to 615. Okay, now if we look at this question, what comes to mind is nothing but the application of difference of 2 squared. Why would that come to mind? Here we are having x to the power of 2. And here we are having a minus sign. So the only thing we have to do is to manipulate this other side to bring 2 to the power of 2. Easy. Hence, difference of 2 squared comes to mind. And so, so I want to rewrite this side of the equation. So if I write your 2 to the power of y or to the power of 2 all over 2 minus x to the power of 2 equal to 615. This has not changed anything because 2 all over 2 will give us 1. Now, remember the law of indices which says that if you have, let's take um, a to the power of mn, this is equal to your a to the power of m, okay, m, or bracket n, which is also a to the power of n, m. Okay, so if we succumb to this rule, we can ship in 1 all over 2 in here. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have here 2 to the power of y all over 2. Okay, all raised to, here we'll be left with 2. Minus x squared equal to your 615. Easy. Okay, so what we do here? Now, your difference of 2 squared says that if you have your a squared minus b squared, this is equal to your a minus b, close bracket, bracket a plus your b. Remember this? Okay? This is what we call difference of 2 square. Okay? So with this, let's go to this other side. Let's come to this side of the board and erase this. So apply the law, we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of y all over 2, then minus your x close bracket, then bracket your 2 to the power of y all over 2 plus your x, then close bracket equal to 6, 1, 5. Now, the next thing we do here is to handle this side of the equation. Here, we have to bring out all the factors of 6, 1, 5. Now, remember, you know, your 6, 1, 5, um, 6, 1, 5 could be Factorized into 1 times 6, 1, 5. This is equal to your 6, 1, 5. Okay? Then we can equally use 3 to go into this. So this will give us 3 times your 2, uh, um, 5. This will equally give us 6, 1, 5. Okay? Then we can equally use 5. So if we use 5, so this will give us 5 times 1, Two, three. So this will also give us one, five, six. Then we can probably use um, uh, fifteen because three times five will give us fifteen. So we have here fifteen times 
um, this will give us 41. This will equally give us 615. Now, among these factors here, we have to pick one of them that when we put into this and simplify them, then we will have the solution of x and y to be integers. Okay, now we're going to work with this very word here. Okay, we're going to pick this one 5 times 1, 2, 3. Okay, on this other side to give us your 615. Why we are picking that? Because we are looking for the integers. Of your x and y okay now there's a video i produced and the video actually trade and then um, many persons questioned my uh, approach because the question is similar to this okay but i didn't state in that video the value of your m and n okay so because m and n were integer so i solved that challenge apply this same procedure okay so the video is showing up here you can watch that video and see uh, what actually happened there, okay? It's showing up here and compare uh, the procedure. But I'm going to apply same uh, procedure here in solving this. So if we take this, so we can replace the whole of this with this. So we're now going to have this to be your 2 to the power of y all over 2 minus x, close bracket, bracket 2 to the power of y all over 2 plus x equal to, here we're going to have here, 5 uh, 5 times your 1, 2, 3. I can either say this is equal to 5 and this is equal to 1, 2, 3 because the summation of what we have here must be greater than the difference of what we have here. Okay? And so we can equate this to this, then equate this to this. In other words, I can take this to this and take dx to dx to form equation one and equation two. That is the approach I use in that question I just said now. Okay, but here I'm going to use a different approach. If we are saying that the multiplication of whatever we have here is equal to this, then the summation will also be equal to the summation on this other side. True, true, good. So let's go ahead and add this. So this now implies that your two to the power of y all over 2 minus x, all right, close bracket, the plus bracket, your 2 to the power of y all over 2 plus x, they equal to, if we add these two, this will give us 1, 2, 8. Sorry, 1, 2, 8. <laughs> Easy. This will also give you the same thing if you form equation 1 and equation 2. Then when you add the two equations, you will still arrive at this point. Okay, at this point, what happens if you open up the bracket, this and this will leave. So we cannot add this. So if we add this, this is going to give us 2 into 2 of your y all over 2, then equal to 1, 2, 8. All right, so let's erase this. So what we do here, divide by 2, divide this side by 2, this, this leaves the system. So we're left with 2 to the power of y all over 2 equal to, here we have 64. Again, 64 can be written um, to base 2, okay? And that will give us 2 to the power of 6. So if we do that, we're going to have here 2 to the power of y all over 2 equals to 2 to the power of 6. This, this leaves the system. Because since the bases are the same, so we can equate the exponents. All right, so let's continue on this side again. All right, so from here, we're going to have our y all over 2 equal to 6. If we cross multiply, because this is all over divisible, 1, y is equal to 12. Okay, so we've got to the value for our y to be 12. Now, how do we not get uh, the value for our x? Now, if you look at this, I can put this value of y into either of this equation, okay? If I put y into this and equate it to 5, then it will give me a certain number. If I put y again into this and equate it to 123, it will give me the same number. But if you look at the equation from the original equation, we are having our x to the power of 2. So we are to get two values from our x. So for us to get the two values from x, what we do here is to uh, put the value of y into the original equation. So from here, Let's put y, we say put y equal to uh, 12, 
into original equation. So if we put that to the original equation, all right, original equation is your two to the power of y minus x squared equal to six one um, five. So we just have to substitute into this. So this will now give us here two to the power of twelve minus x squared equal to six one five. Okay, so if we make x squared the subject of the formula, this will give us here your x squared is equal to four zero nine six minus six one five, right? Okay, so this will now give us x squared. This is equal to if we subtract this from this, we give us uh, three eight uh, sorry three four eight one. Okay, all right. So here comes the beauty of it. So we are taking the square root of both sides here. So we're taking the square root of both sides. So this will go with this. Here we now introduce our plus minus. From here it now implies that your x is equal to your plus minus the square root of 3498 We give us um, 59. Okay? All right, so in all, let's bring out the value of x and y. All right, so from our answer from y and your x, because here we are having two answers here now. So we're having x1 and x2, okay? Meanwhile, we're having here uh, y1, y2. So from here, we can now say that therefore, our x comma y, okay? Let's take one and one. This is equal to, we have x is 59, so we have plus 59 comma uh, 12. And our x2 comma y2 is equal to bracket minus 59 the comma 12. All right. All right. So this might be end to this simple challenge with Dr. PK. Again, you can visit his channel for uh, his own approach to this challenge. He's good at what he does. This is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jakes Anemo. Guess what? I love you. And every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you because you are always there. Bye for now.